Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm showing you guys how to get a private server or dev account in Fortnite Season 7, and this will let you get every single new season cosmetic and all the OG skins and just every cosmetic in the entire game. You can also join any of your friends on any platform, which makes this perfect for things like TikToks, YouTube videos, anything where you want to showcase all of the only skins in the game or any new or OG skins that you want to show off. Before I show you guys that, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and you guys will definitely be kept up to date on all the private servers and all of their updates as well. And if you guys have not already make sure you guys like the video as well and let's try to get this video up to 150 likes that'd be really amazing so to get the storm private server you guys have to join their discord server discord.gg slash and i'll have the link for this discord server in the description for you guys so once you've gotten into the server you want to go over to the downloads channel right here and then you want to scroll up and you want to find where this download is right over here so what you want to do is you want to click on this download button right over here and then it should pop up in like chrome or something and then just click on keep if it asks you and if you guys don't believe me that's not malware you can also check out their source code they have it in their github if you don't believe me so now you just click on the launcher and then you can run it so now you got this just wait for it to run everything you don't have to click any buttons just let it run on its own and it'll launch up fortnite for you so now you're just going to let it log in, and if it says welcome to storm, that means you did it correctly. And then you just want to click on battle royale. So once you got in, you'll see this big thing that says storm fn, and that means you did everything correctly and you are into the game. So if this does not launch up, there's a few things that you can do to fix it. So first thing is you want to make sure that your settings, you want to make sure that you have DirectX 11 on, make sure you're not in performance mode where you guys can see it says performance alpha. Make sure you not have that selected, make sure you're in DirectX 11, otherwise it will not work. And then another thing that you can do is just simply re-downloading the file or maybe adding it to your exceptions. So once you're in here, you can choose any skin in the entire game that you want. So if you just scroll down through here, you can see that we've got all the skins all the way down here. We got every single skin and we also got some unreleased skins such as the OG defaults, the normal defaults, you can choose any of them. It doesn't have to be random, you can choose any of these. And then we've also got a few other unreleased skins. So if it has a placeholder, it also means it's unreleased. So that's unreleased, that's not actually in the game. And then if you go up a little bit, you guys can see that we got some other placeholders. So this is the henchman from season three. We got some more henchmen from season three. Most of these things are henchmen, but there's a few things that are pretty cool. This is I don't know what this is but yeah there's a lot of different unreleased skins that were in the game at one point but will never actually be released as equipable skins that you can actually use in the lobby and then there's this one that is the stark auto defense unit from season four and you guys can see that we have all the new skins from chapter 2 season seven so some of these are from the battle pass some of them just came out like in the item shop so yeah there's a lot of different things that you can equip in here so you can equip rick sanchez which is the new tier 100 skin so if we can equip that, you can see that we have that in our lobby. So if you go into the back blings, you will also have every single back bling. Pickaxe as well. We got all the pickaxes. And gliders, although you cannot actually use the gliders in the lobby, of course. And the same thing with contrails as well. So that is all the cosmetics they have. There's also emotes that you can use. So you got all the emotes, including all the built-in emotes. So you can use built-in emotes on any skin that you want, which also makes this pretty interesting. You can even turn into Superman. So yeah, there's a lot of different things. And we also have a bunch of OG skins that you guys saw before, such as the pink ghoul trooper. And we also have the purple skull trooper. So if we equip the purple skull trooper, you can see that we have the purple skull trooper right here. And we got the purple skull trooper. And then finally, you can also join your friends and they'll be able to see the skins that you have equipped. So let's join someone. So we are in their party right now and you can see that they can tell that we have this skin equipped. And then you can also change the skin to something like Rick again. And they'll also be able to see that you have that skin equipped. And if you wanna test this out, if you don't believe me for some reason, you can test out with your friends and they'll be able to see these skins, which is why they're really, really good for trolling. And then when you exit Storm, you just have to wait for Fortnite to verify. It'll automatically do this. You won't have to click any buttons, but just wait until this is at 100%, and then you'll be able to play Fortnite normally again. So you can use this for like TikToks, YouTube videos, uh, showing people unreleased skins, and pretty much anything just for fun, for trolling people. You can pretty much do anything with this server, so that's why it's really great. That's the end of the video, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.